What's up everybody, Matt from Nerdy Review here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use cross-sectional views in Fusion 360. So also known as the sectional analysis tool, cross-sectional views can be a very helpful tool to know how to use and can assist you in designing in many ways. In order to use the cross-sectional analysis tool, choose inspect section analysis. And then as you can see in the dialog on the right, wants you to select a face. So you can select a face on a body if you want. That's one way to create a cross-sectional view. Another way is to use construction geometry. So you can either create an offset plane or you can create a midplane. I'm going to go ahead and use midplane as an example. Choose the inspect, section analysis, and then I'm going to choose that plane. I'm going to hit OK. So now, as you can see, cross sectional analysis instantly created very quickly and easily. It can be very helpful depending on what you're modeling. Uh, some things can actually be near impossible to model without a cross sectional analysis. Like, for example, I used a sectional analysis to model the carriage down here. So first I modeled the rest of uh, this laser engraver here, and then I created a midplane, used this sectional analysis, and then I created sketches using this sectional analysis, and uh, you know, was able to design it this way using symmetric extrusions then. Now to end your sectional analysis, you're going to select the analysis folder on the left and you're just going to click the little light bulb to turn it off. And if you want to turn any of your sectional analysis back on, you just click the light bulb. So it's a nice, easy tool to use. Um, it can be very helpful and yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, you can feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, if not, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.